Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well, viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Roddy! I'm Marty. Hey everybody, welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. We are, uh, we're still on Turnabout Corner. We're gonna yeah. be for a while. That's I, okay. I, yeah, we're... Well, you're kind of seeing why I don't like the case so much. It's, they spend way too much time on stolen panties. Yeah. It's kind of weird and kind of gross. Anyhow, <laughs> look at that. Oh, yeah, we're going to the garbage today. Oh, yeah, the garbage. The Maractus Clinic garbage uh, garage. There's a skeleton in there. June 15th, Maractus Clinic garage. Oh, shoot. Now I'm going to forget her the voice for her. Great. <laughs> this is the place. This is where that panty snatcher ran. Are you sure? Maybe. Let's look for clues. Clues to a panty snatching. Clues, like a pair of panties. Um, Trucy, could you try not saying panties so many times? <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Apollo. So, um, what? <laughs> yeah, someone's there. Oh, it's just a gold painted human skeleton. Just a human skeleton and painted gold? There's a mannequin hand waving to us from the box behind the skeleton. This place just screams hospital storage, don't you think? It screams something, that's for sure. What else is in here? Oh, there's something under the car after. No clues here. There's something under the car. Ah, someone's Wait, there! Wait, that's not what I examined. It's just a burping beetle. I examined the step ladder. Look, it's a folding ladder. Polly, that's called a step ladder. Come on. A step ladder? How is that different from a regular ladder then? It's a much more complex piece of machinery. It's like two ladders stuck together. So you admit that basically it's a ladder, right? Wait. Huh? You have to look past the form, at the essence of the thing. Uh, can we talk about something else? Yes. Like that thing under the car. Hey, a kitty cat! <gasps> there is a kitty! Oh my gosh, it's so cute! Here, kitty, kitty, kitty! That's not coming down. We do look kind of suspicious, you have to admit. It's okay, kitty cat. His hair won't hurt you. It's okay, kitty cat. She won't make you disappear in her hat. <laughs> oh, it's so cute! Meow. <laughs> Meow. There's something about this car. Let's take a closer look. It's about to run over her phone. Look! A cell phone! Someone dropped it beneath the tire. If the car moved, it would be crushed for sure. Hmm. I wonder if it belongs to the doctor here. We should bring it to him later. Cell phone added to the court record. Is there something stuffed inside the muffler again? <laughs> that reminds me. I once read a record of a case that Mr. Wright worked on many years ago. <laughs> Apparently, there was this car with a piece of cloth shoved into the tailpipe. That piece of cloth turned out to be a vital clue to solving the case. Wow. I remember that case record whenever I'm checking out a car. And I always check the tailpipe. Everyone's gotta have a hobby, I guess. Wouldn't it be funny if... Hey! <laughs> something in here <laughs> they make quite a few references to rise from the ashes in this that game because nice. it came out like right before right this before game. this game okay yeah. what well wait a second are these your ah! my panties what already wow thank you apollo you're a genius amazing i'd wash those as soon as you get home <laughs> no no really don't mention it no i'm serious i'm really impressed you must have a nose for finding girls' panties. Um, what are those? Also, do not say that out loud. <laughs> yeah. My little panties, of course. They've come home to Mama. I can't wait to use them. Y you're going to put them on now? <laughs> Watch closely now. See? Nothing in the panties. Ta-da! Whoa! Wh where'd that come from? How did that bowl get in your panties? My panties are an extra dimensional space. Anything can fit in there. Just like Link whenever he has his tights and he has to fit like a gigantic <laughs> ball and iron boots. <laughs> and he doesn't like, put them in his tights. He puts them in his like shirt pocket. Still, that was <laughs> the like, I saw a hilarious video of like why you should never have wallet upgrades. 
<laughs> and like their reasoning was like, okay, if Link can fit like a metal, like metal iron boots, he can fit two claws, he can fit like a giant ball that you can throw, you shouldn't need to upgrade your wallet to fit like a hundred more rupees. Yeah. <laughs> They're my magic panties. It's one of my best tricks. Magic panties? They love them over at the Wonder Bar. I do shows there nightly. You mean those panties are a prop? You could have told me a little sooner! Trucy's panties put discreetly away in Trucy's pocket. <laughs> well, that's one case closed at least. What are you saying? We still have to catch the sly devil that ran off with the tool of my trade. All right. Something tells me we're not finished searching this garage anyway. Yeah, for example, that mirror. He has no license plate. Maybe it's how does he not get pulled off, over? Maybe it's off to the side. That's a the, very no, long place to have a license no, plate. No, you know then. how sometimes you don't have a license plate number yet, so you have the number in the back dashboard? <laughs> this is a brand new car. Brand and new already car, trashed already it. Already trashed it. Hey, look at that. The mirror's been broken off. Now this is a clue. What? You, you're smiling like you know something I don't. You aren't keeping a clue from me, are you, Polly? A clue? Let's see. Show evidence. No evidence. <laughs> Sorry, <Well>. Trucy. <laughs> Hmm, not that I can think of. No? Then what were you smiling about? Oh, I wasn't smiling. It was the dust in here. I thought I was going to sneeze. Uh, uh, uh. Ah well, don't make faces at ah you! <laughs> so misleading, then. I know yawns are contagious, but sneezes? Hmm, well, I'm sure there's gotta be a clue somewhere. Let's keep checking things out. I think I do have just the clue you've got in mind. Just show the panties. <laughs> That's your clue? Sorry, but that leaves me feeling kind of clueless. Like father, like daughter with the humor, apparently. There's no need to bluff here, Apollo. Save that for the court. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> Again, I still want to know why the heck Phoenix Wright has a 15-year-old daughter. Yeah. My clue is this! Maybe Ooh, we get the core music. Whoa! It's the same color and size and everything! A perfect match! I guess we could check it out. Hmm, two pieces of garbage with paint on them. Look at this, Apollo! Doesn't this go on a car? It's a side-view mirror. Looks like it was torn off when it smacked into something. Or someone. Well, looks like we got and just solved the case. So the car that hit Daddy last night... Is sitting right in front of us, yep. Wow, you put the pro in professional, Apollo. Gee, thanks, Trucy. Apollo! Huh? W what is it? Now that we've solved this case, we should go report to Daddy. He'll mope if we leave him alone too long, knowing him. Um, okay. He doesn't seem the type to mope, though. And this is hardly a case worth reporting. I don't know. I mean, you It'll found do. out who smacked him. <laughs> he, hey there, Wait, friends. let's give him back his bowl. We picked up his bowl right in front of him. He's like, that's what the last bowl oh, I, I thought, have. I thought the bowl was stuffed inside the panties and stuff. No, she took it from our pocket oh, and then pulled them I out. I thought of it was panties. like bowl in the panties in the tailpipe. Never thought I'd say that sentence. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> panties in the tailpipe, if you know what I mean. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Panty snatcher. What? You want to see them again? Well, if you must. No, no, no! I'm fine, really. Let's just put them away, shall we? Case closed. What are you talking about? The case isn't closed until we have our thief. Just find him on the side while you work on the other cases. If it were that easy, we wouldn't need the police. If we don't need the police, then we don't need defense attorneys either, right? Fine, oh, I fine. Like, I like that expression. <laughs> <laughs> fine, fine. I'll look for your panty snatcher. Trucy has a couple really funny expressions. Yeah. <laughs> well, do we have any leads? Hmm, one moment. Alakazam! Alakazing! Whoa, where'd all this evidence come from? Um, so what happens next? That's it. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah, neat. <sighs> I do like the little bounce she does. Me too. June 15th, Hickfield Clinic. Hobby yeah. Clinic shut down and it got replaced with this one. Yo, how goes it? Daddy, how do you feel? 
Not bad, Trucy. Not bad. It's good to have you young'uns on the case. Let's old daddy-o get some well-deserved R&R. The elderly need their rest. Uh, isn't he only 33? <laughs> um, we've cleared up most of the cases. I was right about you. Competent. Capable. Tell me what you found out, if you want to. Your enthusiasm is overwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> Progress report. I like this music. This is the investigation intro Yeah, music. I like yeah. this music. Well, I certainly didn't expect you back this early. Polly's amazing! He found my panties so quick! Almost like he was the one who stole them. You have an interesting concept of praise. And? Did you find the mad driver who gave me that 30-foot toss? Apparently, it was a doctor from the Maractus Clinic. Hmm, Maractus, eh? I've heard of him. Nothing good, mind you. That reminds me, a police car was parked outside the clinic. Maybe something happened? What is this Maractus Clinic, anyway? Last. Oh, wait, hang on. Wrong button, sorry. Yeah, turn it up. Yeah. I turned it down when I was recording my birthday Let's Play. <laughs> oh, you already recorded that. Cool. Yeah. All I've heard are the rumors. That clinic's been making good money. In a bad way. Bad? Ties to organized crime. The Kentucky family. Um, the Kentucky family? He did that on purpose. <laughs> Colonel Sanders here, we're part of the biggest organized crime mob in the <laughs> That's why Kentucky Fried Chicken's so bad. <laughs> it tastes so good, but it's bad. <laughs> I've never eaten KFC. I don't really plan to. It's I've, It doesn't seem very good. Yeah. Just go to Chick-fil-A. It's way better. Go to Chick-fil-A. Oh, Actually, like, go to Culver's, because that's closer. Go to Chick-fil-A if it's near you. Otherwise, go to Culver's. Yes, th those have our stamps of approval. Some injuries you can't take to a public hospital, see? They use the Maractus Clinic for their patch-up jobs. Interesting. It looks like something had happened in the park. Ah, a body was found there in unusual circumstances. Something more unusual than being dead? It's not our concern in any case. Right, let's ignore that and find the noodle stand. Whatever happened to professional curiosity? Thanks, really. If I get tired of sleeping, maybe I'll head down to this Maractus place. Maybe hit him up for some reparations. A little, a little legal action would do me some good. Um, I was wondering when I get paid? We solved the case of your accident and, um, found a missing article of clothing. My panties! That leaves the noodle stand. Eh. Feel free to drop in if you get stuck. I'd be happy to help you with anything not involving money. Goodbye, quit pro quo, hello, pro bono. <laughs> <laughs> right, back to the office to plan our next move. Oh, oh. <laughs> Present, what do you, yup. <laughs> Look, my panties, they came home to mama. Thanks, Apollo. I was worried about them, too. Trucy special ordered these. A startling display of parental concern. <laughs> I'd hate to have to go, go buy a new pair. <laughs> Make that a not-so-startling display of cheapskatedness. <laughs> oh, I thought he said something different. Never mind. We can present him to him later and he'll say something different. Okay. June 15th, Someone crashes in. write anything to agency. Oh, it's this weird pixie chick. You, you're female Peter Pan, the woman from the Katani <laughs> place. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember her. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Some something's the matter and you want our help, right? Will you come to the right place? This way, please. Um, thank you. My name is Alita Talia. Alita Tiala. Alita Tiala. Oh, isn't that oh. such a precious name? Oh. What is up with that face? My name's Alita Talala. 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 I'm just doing Tiala. that. I'm doing Talala. I have a request. She has green fingernails. Does she? <laughs> oh, she does. You're right. Your request. Let me guess. Something's been stolen? Um, your flyer? It says now defending, so I thought... What? You mean... You mean you want me to defend you? Me? Maybe you can tell us what happened? Were you hit by a car? Did someone steal your stand? Or your panties? Don't bring that up, Patrice! No, no. 
I'm not that client, actually. The client would be my... Well, my fiancé, I suppose you'd call him. Dang it, she's taken! Forget it! <laughs> 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 fiancé? What happened to him, then? He was arrested this morning. The charge was murder. Murder?! Have you heard about what happened at the park? <laughs> Let's actually do this out of order. Wh what happened? I haven't been told all of the details, but I do know a body was found in the park near the Kataki Mansion. There were a lot of police cars there. Apparently, the victim was shot with a pistol, but I heard the circumstances of the shooting were rather unusual. And your fiancé was arrested for this? Um, what sort of person is your fiancé? <laughs> so, what's your story? You frequent the Kataki Mansion, yes? Are you a member of their, um, organization? No, not yet. She's training to be a hitman. <laughs> but she's like, got she got to train with training, the, the blue man from the ghost the trick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, not, no, not Owen Wilson. Not like, Owen the guys Wilson. who actually shoot people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not yet. You see, I'm to be married next month to the boss's son. The boss's son? So he's a... a gangster. Yes, but the Kitakis are locally responsible gangsters. I thought it'd be nice for a change. Quit my boring job, live the good gangster life. I think you're on to something. She, she is Peter Pan. She wants adventure. <laughs> she wants adventure. She doesn't want to grow up. <laughs> she wants to fight Captain Hook. The gangsters fight pirates, right? Yeah, that's yeah, what yep, happens. Yep. <laughs> Miss Kataki, I like the sound of that. I'm not sure your daddy would care much for that. <laughs> your fiancé is the Kataki family's only son, correct? His name's Waki. Waki Kataki. I brought a photo. Waki Talkie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> he looks amazing! <laughs> he is, without a doubt, my least favorite character in I'm, the If case. he's obnoxious, I'm sure. <laughs> he looks like the weirdest character. He literally looks, looks like a fox or a weasel. <laughs> he looks like, yeah, but he's got horns. He's also wearing an evil blue badger t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Well, that's quite the photo. I know. Oh, he can be so powerful and menacing, but so cute. But if he's the boss's only son... Yes, I'm sure he'll take his father's place someday. Say I'm the boss already of this agency. Please help my walking, please. Right. My first solo defense case. Crime boss's son or not, I'll prove he's innocent. I prepared a letter of request. I know you need those. Thank you! She actually gets it! Letter of request added to the court record. Right! Let's go check out the scene of the crime. Here's the thing. She gets it because she's involved with gangsters. That's true. Letter of request from Alita Tiala of the legal defense of her fiancé, Walkie Talkie. Er, Kitaki. <laughs> Walkie Talkie. Walkie Talkie. Wait, did bear. she literally just write her name? Oh, hit request? <laughs> Why does this envelope say hit request? Um... It's a bit of lingo, like calling a hit or hit man. Ooh, you mean gangster talk? So, so, so does hit mean to defend in gangster? I see. Ease. <laughs> gangster ease. Well, hit man. I certainly hope not. Something tells me she used the wrong envelope. So we're like, here, officer. We have a letter of request. Hit request. request. <laughs> <laughs> Arrest maybe us they, on the maybe spot. Maybe they had the wrong envelope. Like, whoops, <laughs> we've all read. But, no, it's not all read. It's just a few PG man parts. No big deal. It's fine. Sure, we can, we sure just... the panties. <laughs> of course. I'm not sure I understand. I'm sorry. Did you not get sex ed classes? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's me who's sorry. Really, sorry. Yeah, it's showing around them. An attorney's badge. So you really are a defense attorney. Nope, I just lied. <laughs> Please, I'm counting on you. I need your help. <laughs> what an empty bowl. I'm not sure I understand the empty bowl nonsense. I hope that's okay. I've never written a letter of request before. Oh, hey now. Uh, profiles. Uh, we did say, uh, 21? She's 21? She's pretty young. That is pretty young. Unknown. He's 19? 19? <laughs> They're to be married. That's pretty weird. <laughs> oh, it's fine. I should hope it's your first. <laughs> if we take this, we'll be able to investigate the scene. 
<laughs> That's such a weird face. Well, bye. We're leaving you alone in our office. <laughs> Just hang out and have some tea while you don't you? June 15th, Kitaki Mansion. So this is it. My first murder crime scene. Ah, it's you kids again. Look, can't you find some other place to play? We're not playing. We're, um, investigating. Aren't we, Apollo? Sir, I have a letter of request here. Letter of... Huh? Why does it say hit request on <laughs> it? <laughs> Miss Tiawa must have used the Kataki stationery. Excuse me, coming through. <laughs> ah, it's you, Mr. Gavin! <laughs> Why are you out of jail? <laughs> Who's this guy? I must say, I'm used to being inspected by the ladies. But this is the first time I felt this way with a man. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Gavin? That's kind of funny, to be honest. That works perfectly. Ah, Fräulein, what a sweet morsel. What's a sweet morsel like you doing in such a dismal place? Can I help? I yes! The policeman, a fellow offered. The, bleh, the policeman officer fellow here won't let us in. We even have a letter of request. You must be exhausted, standing out here. I'll take you to the scene of the crime. Oh, really? By your leave, officer. Y yes sir! Oh, of course, sir! <laughs> Very well. This way, Fräulein. We. Oui. Hey! What about me?! <laughs> June 15th, People Park. Well, there's the Aldoom stand. On that note, enjoy your investigation. Thank you. We'll see you. Will we see you again? Ask the wind, Fräulein. I'll be riding on it. <laughs> I can't. Uh, I can't really no. tell what voice to give him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> give him kind of like the hey Bailey, like with, hey, the, with, Bailey. with a little mix of what you were previously doing. <laughs> All right, I'll make try. Him, make him sound like the the womanizer a little bit. <laughs> Who was that? Yeah, Apollo. Look, g g corpse. What? Hey, it's just a mannequin. Wow, it sure got me. <laughs> I think this is Emma Sky, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Ahem, might I ask exactly what it is you're doing here? Indeed. Oh, it's you. How'd you kids get in here? Oh, this guy, well, he's more like a prince, really. He, he let us in. Him again. That glimmerous flop always gets. Flop, getting... not flop. <laughs> I like flop better. <laughs> <laughs> the glimmerous fop always getting in my way. Anyway, the scene's off limits. Excuse me, we have a letter of request! Hmm, one moment. Why is she holding that big magnifying glass? I also like the remix of her theme. I'd recognize that handwriting anywhere. Scientific analysis says this was written by Alita Tiala. Thanks. It took you 30 minutes to figure that out? <laughs> wow. So, what's up with the mannequin there? It's taking the place of the body, preserving the scene of the crime as it was found. The body was pulling the stand? So, you're a defense attorney, are you? Detective Emma Sky, I'm in charge of the crime scene. She doesn't seem that happy about it. She doesn't seem that happy about many things. I trust you know how to stay out of the way. I always carry two pairs of handcuffs. Just in case. <laughs> I really like Emma's design in this game. Yeah, it looks nice. She's still got the awesome glasses. Yep. Um, Detective Sky? Quiet, please. It's snack time. <laughs> yes! Yes, Emma! <laughs> Emma, marry me. <laughs> marry me! <laughs> <laughs> What's she eating? <laughs> we'll find out. We're not making much progress here. She must not be very busy. <sighs> I never seem to get a lucky break. Back after nine years and they won't let me- they won't give me the position I requ requested. And then I hear he gave up at the defense attorney life. He? Who's he? An ex-defense attorney? It's obviously Phoenix right. I mean, they were involved in the same case! Yeah. Um, Detective Sky? Quiet, please. It's snack time. <laughs> this is my lunch break, people. Let me eat. It looks like she's eating like those chocolate-covered graham crackers. 
or just chocolate graham cracker sticks. Oh my gosh, I forgot about those. Those are great. I haven't had them in forever. Um, Emma, snack Why? time. It's snack <laughs> time. <laughs> Maybe if we give her food? We're not making much progress here. She must not be very busy. She's been eating snacks for the last 30 minutes. Just present just present Phoenix Wright's profile. How about we just examine stuff? We can't present profiles in this. Oh, you're right. Hey, no messing with the crime scene. But, but we need to investigate. Apollo, look, the stand. It says Eldoom. I've noticed. Well, we've solved the case of the missing stand at least. Though the circumstances could stand to be better. Meanwhile, I'm just like, stop. That looks like a statue of Meekin's point. Which is, uh... <laughs> hey, no messing with the crime scene. But, but we need to investigate. Investigations are to be carried out by professionals, scientifically. I love that expression. <laughs> that is great. She's not going to let us check out the crime scene, is she? Hey, Apollo. My very unscientific analysis tells me something here is very suspicious. I think I know what you mean. It's kind of hard not to notice. I'd better check out what we came here to find, at least. Mm. Yeah, she won't let us examine anything. Yo, bro! Um, if you could spare a moment to take a look at this... Can't you see that I'm extremely, extremely busy? Eating snacks, yes. Busy eating snacks, I'd say. And this is going nowhere fast. <laughs> yeah, they basically... So a lot of people don't like how Emma Sky became, like, kind of the grumpy stress eater. I think, I think it's, it's great. amazing. I think it's great. <laughs> because, again, like you, I'm like, she's just, like, basically exactly Maya. And now she actually is kind of her own character. Mm -hmm. Um, if you could look at these panties... <laughs> no! You see I'm busy eating my food? <laughs> I'm eating! Shut up! Oh, wait, hang on. How much time do we have left? Uh, we can move Ooh. around just a tiny bit a bit more. <laughs> Me. Oh, wait. Uh, Eldoon. <laughs> yeah. No, get out of here. No! No! <laughs> June 15th, Eldoon's house. Oh, Mr. Eldoon! Hello? Looks like he left. And we found his stand and everything. What about our free bull? Oh, too bad. Looks like we'll have to wait a little longer for that bull. So sorry. Aw, what a bummer. He just left his dog alone. Poor dog. Ruff. 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 I was supposed to say, were you doing the Pink Panther theme? To like, Ruff, 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 no. Ruff, Ruff, Ruff. Nick Field Clinic. Ah, oh, you're back. Run into some problems? Oh, Polly, didn't you want to tell Daddy something? Who? Me? No, I'm fine, really. <laughs> What's this? So, there is a problem. No, no, no problem. Actually, I got a defense request. A defense request? That is a problem. Uh -huh. Huh? I've given up the court. I'm not a lawyer anymore. The request was for me! <laughs> oh, right. You're a lawyer, aren't you? He's doing that on purpose. I know it. <laughs> yeah. Know. Phoenix Weird. is basically a massive troll in this. I can appreciate that. So, what about this defense request? It's related to the murder in People Park, actually. I will say, I want to see Larry Butts at least once. <laughs> Even if he's just, like... A bum. A bum. <laughs> he might be a bum, but I don't care. Guess what? We found the Mr. Eldoon's noodle stand at the scene of the crime. Did you now? That's unusual indeed. Never heard of a noodle stand being used as a murder weapon. <laughs> 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 I want a gif of that. No, no, that's more like ghost trick where you like drop the ball or whatever. On, <laughs> you drop the wrecking ball. You drop the, the wrecking ball. You just have like it on a crane. You drop the entire noodle stand. <laughs> I can see that. Uh, I think the murder weapon was something else. You mean you don't know what the murder weapon was? The funny detective lady won't let us on the scene. What kind of detective wears a lab coat anyway? A lab coat? Hmm. Didn't think she'd be involved with this. You know her? You could say that. You Sky definitely know connection. It. So, you know her, don't you? I met her on a case. This was about ten years ago. She was still a high school student at the time. That would make her about the same age as me. Oh yeah, she's at least 25. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Don't ask me how I remembered that. Wow. <laughs> no, I remembered that because there was a guy who were like, 
he, he played for these games. He had kind of an unhealthy obsession with Emma Sky a little oh. bit. And like the episode. He's like, yeah. oh my gosh, she's so cute. He's like, she's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. And okay. like when when he re met her in like the park, he called the episode 25 is the hottest age to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great. That's my daddy. He knows all the police types. Oh wait, maybe you know the other officer guy too. Or the other guy. Not the officer guy. That other guy? The Shining Prince on the motorcycle. Prince? Turns out it's just Larry Butts with massive, massive plastic surgery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. No. <laughs> Apollo, tell me about this Prince of Trucies. Indulge a concerned father. He was at the crime scene. He looked just like Mr. Gavin. Did he now? You know him? My guess is he's Christoph Gavin's younger brother. Yeah, I wondered if they were be related. His brother? We're acquaintances, after a fashion. Clavier Gavin, rock and roll god incarnate. <laughs> Clavier? What a lovely name, it's so dreamy. Is that Clavier or Clavier? I think it's Clavier, actually. It's not like Cleaver. Clavier. Clavier? Clavier Gavin. Clavier mm. Gavin, he's such a dream boat. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know Mr. Gavin had a brother. And what was he doing out there? I have a feeling you'll be crossing paths again soon. In court. Now, what was the problem again? Having trouble investigating the crime scene in the park? Yeah, the detective woman won't let us. Go to the office. Under the silk top hat, you'll find a bottle of white powder. Try taking that to this detective. What? White powder? I hope it's not what I think it is. <laughs> <You're> drugs. <laughs> Just take it to her. It'll be fine, you see. It's just oh, like smile and dip. Tell her I said hi. <laughs> Who's gonna get that reference? It's gravity <laughs> salt! It's also not white! It's actually just powdered sugar. She's like, yes, I can put this on my graham crackers. Or almonds. <laughs> almonds aren't white? No, but you could put like you know how you put the sugar on the almonds and then it tastes better? You can put candy. sugar on anything and it tastes better. Yeah, almonds. So this must be the silk top hat Mr. Wright mentioned. Let's take a closer look. Huh? Whoa! You know what this is, Trucy? I remember finding some in Daddy's dresser when I was little. I thought it was sugar, so I licked it. He got mad at me. This is getting more and more suspicious. White powder placed gingerly in the pocket. Let's go talk to that detective. Oh, you know what it is? It's probably that powder that we used to, like, put on fingerprints. Put on fingerprints, yep. No, uh, Take it's... fingerprints. Oh, yeah, yeah. She sure know what the white powder is. Bingo, bingo, bingo! Anyhow, bingo ringo. That's it for today, everybody. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. We might be able to finish up the investigation period. Oh, we'll see. We don't even know who our prosecutor is yet. It's probably no, that guy. It's that probably guy. Like, it's probably the dreamboat guy, and then like all the gals in the court Cor system above will be like, no! ah! he's so dreamy. <laughs> That's Smarty's prediction. All oh, right, it totally could be. <laughs> It well, totally yeah. could be. You don't think it's gonna be an edge whore for Francisca? It would be- I would be amazed if it was Francisca. I'd be so happy. She'd be like, what, 35? She was 19 in Trials and Tribulation! She'd be like Emma Sky's age. Maybe 26. No, Emma Sky was 15. Emma Sky and, was 16. Okay, and Francisca, Francisca was-, was it, she, Francisca's a year older. Because oh. in the first game, Emma Sky was 16, and in the second game, which was a year later, uh, Francisca was 18. Oh, okay, okay. Anyhow, we'll see that in a future episode. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.